Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. This afternoon, I'm starting early today, I am making curried chicken rice. There's not many ingredients to it and the best thing is once it's been on the stove top, it's going in the oven. So here's what we need. It will serve four, so come on in and I'll talk you through the ingredients. Alrighty, so that's not an ingredient, but that's essential if you don't want to be scrubbing saucepans and pans all day. Not me, thank you. All right, one kilo of chicken thigh fillets cut into three centimetre cubes. I've just got them soaking in water, but I'll drain them, obviously. Two tablespoons of curry powder. Haven't measured that out yet, but that won't take long. One and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Same deal, haven't measured it out yet. One onion diced, diced as much as I can do it. I hate dicing onions. Two garlic cloves crushed. I just brought a new bulb so they're nice and fresh. The last ones I was using were a bit, how's it going? One and a half cups of basmati rice. 750 mils of chicken stock. Now today, I've made this up with the powder. Normally, lately, if it's been a one litre or a half a litre, I've been buying it ready to go. But today I've made it up because that's in between the two. Quarter of a cup of coriander leaves. I had a bunch. I've just picked a quarter of a cup off. These are going in the freezer. So I've got to pop into my memory that if I do need any more, I've still got some. And finally, 150 grams of plain yogurt to serve. I've brought the Greek style yogurt. That one's quite nice. So the rest of it, you can chuck some fruit in it and have it as a snack. It's very good for you. So that's that one there. All right. So now that you know what we're doing, as I said at the beginning, um, we are starting it on the stove top. And then we're going into the oven with it. So... The good thing about this one is it's going to bake in the oven for about 40 minutes or thereabouts. So I'm popping it on now. I can go and do some more stuff and um, we'll go from there. So let's go over to the stovetop and get started. I actually tricked you because I haven't read my recipe. I told you a lie. We are not going straight over. We are going to pop our chicken into a bowl which it's just draining off now you can pat it dry if you want but it's gonna get cooked so it'll dry all right into a bowl now what we want to do we want to put the curry powder in with the chicken so grab your curry powder and now if you don't like a lot of curry powder cut your curry powder down but for me I like a lot of curry powder all right there we go now I'm gonna go grab not the handy pink spatula the stirring stick all right toss that in there okay one tablespoon of oil into your frying pan or saucepan or whatever you're using now if you're lucky enough to have something that can go from stove top to oven the reason why I say that is because I just have never invested in anything like that. I just find it easier to put it straight into something that will do both. And I'm hoping that what I've chosen, this one here, is big enough. All right, so now we can go over to the stove top. Yes, I'm very eager today, aren't I? Let's go. All right, in goes your one tablespoon of olive oil. Don't... Get rid of your spoon unless you just did what I did and drop it on the floor because we've still got half a tablespoon to go. <sighs> I don't want to be cleaning the floor today. All right. Crank that up high 
and bring the chicken over. Now you want something to put the chicken in when it's cooked, so I suggest you find something. Obviously not the bowl that you've had the raw chicken in. If that's what you were thinking, that's a big no-no. A tin plate is much more practical and a slotted spoon for when we're ready. So we only need to basically brown off the chicken and then take it out and then we're going to add the onion, garlic and the remaining uh, oil. Okay, so obviously this has been a lot longer than three or four minutes, but you really want to just make sure that your chicken starting to cook through. So once it's starting to look like that, grab your slotted spoon in your plate and just remove it all. Leave any pan juices in there because they're going to help cook with the rest of it. Some of it's still a bit uncooked, but keep in mind it is cooking later. So this is more to just get everything going. So we're going to pop that up the back there. It will stay warm. Ah. Then we're going to pop the rest of the olive oil in. I like to use the slotted spoon so that we can keep the juice in and obviously take the chicken out. All right, now that's nice and sizzling, which is good. So I'm going to turn it down while I get the rest of the olive oil, which was another half a tablespoon. All right, get the onion straight in. This is the beauty of having everything ready to go. All right. And I'm just going to crush the cloves of garlic and put them straight in as well. Oh, fresh garlic so good. Obviously, I don't cook as much anymore, so I need to be starting to find things with garlic because otherwise I'm going to have my garlic going off very quickly again. And I just, once I start getting familiar with a fresh ingredient, I really don't want to go back to the one in the jar in the fridge. There's just no comparison, I'm sorry. Might be alright for if you're making garlic butter or something, but you can't beat fresh garlic. Alright, look at that. Oh, I've left a piece of chicken in there. That's all good. Alright. So, next up, try and wash my hands. Add the onion and garlic to pan with remaining oil and cook one to two minutes until onions are soft and pale golden. Add the rice, stir to combine and cook for two minutes. Return chicken to the pan. All right. So if you got half of that story, this is a good thing about cooking in a wok. They get very hot very quickly. All right, sprinkle the rice over the top. And I figured I'd use this because it's got a bigger area to it as well. So you're basically just coating the rice. I love these one pot dishes where everything just all cooks together, including rice. All right, back goes the chicken. Beautiful. All right. In she goes. OK. 
code everything all together. Code away. Spilt some over the side. All right. We'll be back. Okay, now stir the stock over the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this to the oven. Now, as I explained in the intro, I can't fit that in my oven in that, unfortunately. Hopefully you've got something where you can pop a lid on it and put it in the oven. I'm just going to give it a bit of a start on the stove top, but I've got to find something to put that into. And if it doesn't fit in the one that I showed you at the beginning, it's going to be the big one with the foil on the top. So I'll see you when I'm ready to go in the oven. So I looked at that and I said, there's no way I'm going to attempt to fit that in there. So I'm going with my oblong dish that I know everything will fit into. So I've just sprayed it. Here we go. Oh, I probably should have just put the stock straight into it, but in theory this is good because I've actually got the stock a little bit hot. Yep, that definitely at least fits. All right, just scrape your pan out. As I say, if you're lucky enough to have something that you can put stovetop to oven, then... Um, excellent maybe one day i'll invest in one but in all honesty that, that would probably have been about the third time this year that i would have needed it so not really worth me going out to buy something that i'm going to use maybe three times so i'm just gonna have to pop foil over the top of this we are going to cook it for 35 to 45 minutes says at 200 i'm going to turn mine down to 180 because it's special and pop it on for half an hour the worst i can do is have to give it longer so i will see you when this is cooked oh, the coriander is to serve at the end as well so you sprinkle it on when you get it out of the oven okay so don't stress i didn't forget it okay so i gave it another 10 minutes and when I lifted the foil off, so that was 40 minutes, when I lifted the foil off, there was still a lot of liquid in it. So I took the foil off, cranked it up to 200, gave it another 10 minutes, and that should be done. So enjoy, and thank you for watching Cooking with Violet Bixen. This has been curried chicken rice. Bye, I'll catch you next time.